Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot and I am in search of a Mickey shaped pizza. I have had plenty of Mickey pretzels before in the past, but I've never had a Mickey shaped pizza and I seen a picture of it and I was like, I gotta go find this and I gotta eat it. So let's go do this. Now we're not only here just for the pizza, we're also here to have a fun day at Epcot and ride rides and just kind of explore World Showcase. I haven't been able to walk around that at night recently. I've only been coming in and just making it to one or two countries, but I'd love to make a full lap. The temperature is in the 80s and it's actually very cool out because there's a lot of wind happening but I'm very excited for today and I'm shocked that the temperature is this nice out. It's the end of April and next thing you know it's going to be May. I'm going to head right on into World Showcase because that's the direction we need to go to get the Mickey pizza. I'm not too sure where it's located at. I know it's somewhere at the boardwalk, so there's only a couple of places that sell pizza over there, so we're going to have to do a little research, but also it's on the way as we make our way around World Showcase. We can walk right on over to the boardwalk, so that's why I'm going to go in this direction. We'll head out to the boardwalk, get our pizza, hopefully, and then come back in and just do one big lap all the way around. Funny thing is, is just the other day I had pizza at Il Molino over at the Swan and Dolphin. I ended up walking over to the boardwalk and at that time I did not know the Mickey shaped pizza existed or else I probably would have went and got that. And I wore this mask just for this occasion. I love Mickey, Mickey shaped pizza. I know I'm probably putting a little bit too much into the Mickey shaped pizza but come on. I think I'm going to make a pit stop here at the Maple Popcorn Cart to get myself a moose head. Now usually they have Le Femme de Monde here, which is an amazing beer, but it looks like the taps are out for that. I still love coming over here, getting a beer and smelling the popcorn. Definitely some amazing popcorn. In fact, Epcot has probably the best popcorn selection out of all the parks. I mean, they have a big variety here and I never really thought about that until right now. As I was walking, I stopped because the Geminators are coming on stage and I got my beer so I might as well stay stationary and enjoy a show. What else? Flowers and bushes growing far and wide. My allergies are killing me, I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm kidding! That was a nice little stop. I love listening to the Jaminators. They are really, really talented. And the, the guy that's always in the middle singing, I always seem to catch him. I wonder if he takes days off. Like, I always see him. So I wonder, like, you know what I mean? The show runs every single day of the like, week. So does he take days off or do you think I'm just always here when he's here? Now our journey to the boardwalk begins and we're just gonna take a little detour down here by International Gateway. A lot of people don't even know that you can take part in any of the festivities at Disney Boardwalk or Beach Club or Yacht Club. All you gotta do is walk from Epcot right on over there. A lot of people are like, oh, if I'm not staying there, I can't hang out there. You can hang out there all you want. You can even park there if you have a dining reservation or you're staying there. But if you're not, just walk from Epcot. It literally takes two minutes and then you can be right back into World Showcase if you wanted to. I think after we actually visit the boardwalk, we might take the friendship boat back to Epcot. I think that would be fun. I haven't rode one of these boats in a while. They do have boats that actually go in World Showcase Lagoon, but this one takes you to the different resorts and then drops you back off right here. So I think that would be fun to take a little boat ride. Good news is I found out where the Mickey pizza is actually being sold. Now this isn't something new, but it's something that I've recently discovered. And I thought for a while it might have been at the Boardwalk Pizza window to go, but it's not there. It's actually for Trotteria El Ferno. And because of the current situation that we're in, you can order to go and pick it up and then take it out on the Boardwalk and eat it. I had no idea this existed. I've eaten there probably at least 20 times. I've never looked through the menu. I've never seen it before. So now I'm super excited. And just walking over to the boardwalk is so fun. I love coming here and just enjoying all the festivities. If you recall in my last video, I uh, mentioned that the boardwalk was opening July 2nd. Right now it's only open for Disney Vacation Club, which is that side over there where the red yawning start in the blue. But now soon the whole resort would open and I'm hoping Flying Fish opens with it too. And Jelly Rolls, maybe ESPN. Lots of good places here that are closed. 
one place that will not be opening because the company went bankrupt is Ample Hills. And I always talk about it every time I walk past because there's still little remnants of Ample Hills in there. So I'm excited what Disney like decides to put in there. And plus they were gonna open one of these at Disney Springs. Another thing that just recently reopened here at the Boardwalk is Boardwalk Joe's Marvelous Margaritas. This has some of the best margaritas at Walt Disney World and I'm very excited to see it's open. I think it opened within the past month and they even have the Schofen High for Grapefruit Lake Hefeweiz in here as well. So if you're a big Epcot fan, that's a good beer. But we're not here for margaritas tonight. Maybe later we might be. We're here for pizza. And like I said, it is not at the pizza window right here. Now, a lot of people also don't know this. This is a different pizza. So the pizza window that is served here is different than Trattoria Al Forno right there. And it's a different type of pizza. You can't get the Mickey pizza from here. The only way you can get it is actually ordering from the sit down restaurant, which now offers to go. If you pull up my Disney Experience app, it'll tell you, try to read El Ferno to go, and then you just select order food, and you select your window time, and sometimes the window times for the sit down to go services can be a little bit longer than you would for quick service, especially if it doesn't load. There we go, now it's loading. Sometimes, you know, this Verizon service isn't the best, but if you scroll all the way down here to, the kids section and yes you can order it because it is a kid section they have Mickey pepperoni pizza and Mickey cheese pizza and then each pizza comes with two sides isn't that amazing so we end up getting pasta with the uh, marinara sauce the best thing is it's only $12 $12 for a Mickey shaped pizza with two sides and a drink all included and you can just grab it to go order from your app and show up and pick it up so we're gonna go inside and see if our order's ready. Oop! Especially get out of the heat, because it's nice and AC'd in here. And it's dark. <laughs> okay, I got my order, and I cannot believe how much food I just got for $24. I ordered two of them, because I wanted to see what looked like one with pepperoni, one without pepperoni. Wait till you see the spread of food I got for $24. Look at this, that is insane. So they come with two sides and I just ordered pasta with uh, marinara sauce as my side, but because it comes with two, so I got two sides. You can get broccoli or vegetables. So that's one meal, this is another meal, and then they both come with a drink. And now we're gonna take a look at the Mickey pizzas. This is the moment of truth right here. Oh boy, <gasps> oh my Lord. <laughs> I wish they didn't cut it, but I mean, you have to cut the pizza. That is amazing. Look at it. Oh, that is so awesome. And then this one is just the cheese pizza itself. Oh, that's a little bit bigger. Wow. So awesome. I am so excited to eat this. I actually grabbed an ear because like, of course, if you get anything Mickey shaped, I feel like ears first is like the most important thing. So I grabbed the ear and it's kind of like grabbing a slice. So, <laughs> high expectations here. One bite, everyone knows the rules. That is so, so delicious. I love it. I think I would give it a solid eight. I love this pizza. Look at the bottom of the crust. Well, this is one of the Mickey ears. I eat the pizza part of it, but it's hand-tossed dough inside there. So they make that in the brick oven and uh, they literally form it into a Mickey Mouse itself. So it's not something you like frozen and then bought and then heat it up. Like this is real, real pizza. And it's way better than the pizza at the window. I mean, if you guys had the pizza in the window here and the pizza at Trattoria El Forno, let me know which one's your favorite. Trattoria El Forno pizza is my favorite. And Via Napoli, same thing. The pizza window is different and the pizza inside Via Napoli is different. I always go with inside the restaurant, way better. Honestly, for the price point of this pizza, it is the best deal on pizza at Disney. Like you can literally get two Mickey pizzas and all that pasta for $24. You can feed a whole family off that and I think it's amazing. 
Now I gotta try the pasta that came with it too. The pasta is just regular elbow macaroni, but inside Trattoria Alferno, they do make handmade pasta. I get it with the chicken parm usually. I think these are just elbow macaronis for kids, but the sauce is like Trattoria Alferno's own sauce, so that's interesting. Very, very good looking though. And especially because you get two uh, portions like this. You get two portions per kid's menu, or you can get like a veggie like broccoli, but I didn't know that, so I just put double pasta, which is okay with me because I love the pasta. <laughs> So we're gonna give it a go here. Oh yeah, very good, very good pasta. I like it. <laughs> and if you're feeling really fancy, you take a little bit of the pasta and you put it inside one of the Mickey ears and you make like a pasta bread bowl. Isn't that, that's smart, isn't it? A little pasta bread bowl. Might be the perfect combination right here. A Mickey ear pasta bread bowl. <laughs> Right where I was standing, they actually have a little napkin and silver area. And look at this gigantic bowl of coffee made French vanilla creamer. I could use this in my resort room stays, but they just got it like right here outside in front of the Boardwalk Bakery. And look at the sunset happening in the glass. Reflections of a sunset. Wow, that is amazing. I didn't even notice it was happening until I looked up and I seen that in the reflection. So that was my pure reaction. I was like, oh, look at that sunset and I am, I'm loving it. This is beautiful. You must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. was pretty amazing the sunset and the pizza i love the pizza i'm so happy we made our journey over here but i would have watched the whole sunset but we do want to make our bay make our way back to world showcase so i seen that one last friendship boat come in i'm like oh i can catch that one so that's what we're gonna head to head to the boat oh just in time both boats pulled up i think one is actually going to hollywood studios and one is going back to epcot so we're gonna have to figure out which way we're going not too sure there's actually a huge sign right behind us that tells us where we're going. So to the left is Yacht Club, Beach Club, Swan and Dolphin, and Hollywood Studios. And to the right is Epcot. So Epcot it is, and I'm just still looking at the sunset. It's still happening at the moment, so I got this great lighting. I really, really like uh, filming whenever there's actually a beautiful golden sky happening. Looks like we got the indoor cabin. There's only two seats on the outside, so they're hard to come by, but here we go. Wishing you a magical day. All right, welcome on to the Lincoln Highway Station. We'll be at a park park in the morning. The Lincoln Highway is open for 10 minutes. If you find yourself late, make sure you exit at the front of the park and you can get a bus to the resort. That was super fun and actually very fast. It took like three minutes to actually make a whole entire rotation. You could probably walk quicker, but it's nice to get, be on the water. You know what I mean? Now we are back at Epcot. Fancy. Now, like I said, we're just gonna walk around Epcot's World Showcase, do a full lap, and enjoy the different showcases. I don't think I'll be getting anything to eat. I mean, maybe a dessert and a couple drinks, but I'm a little full on the Mickey pizzas. I think I'm gonna stop here in the Japan Pavilion. I wanna get a Japanese beer. I would love a super dry, but I don't think they have it like for sale out at the different stands here. So maybe we'll just see what they have. If not, then we're gonna get ourselves a Korean. I was gonna stop in Japan and get a drink, but it looks like the sake stand closed. You know, they have that little stand outside where they sell the uh, violet lemonade and they usually have the super dry, but it's closed or maybe it's only open on the weekend. So I guess next country over is America. So instead of a Japanese beer, I think we'll just get ourselves an orange blossom pilsner. Nice local craft beer right here from Orlando, Florida. I like it. 
you know, it may not be a nice super dry beer, but I do love Orange Blossom Pilsner. It is such a nice, I, it might be my favorite local beer actually, because wherever I see it, I, I tend to always buy it just because I've had great experience with it. I love walking around Epcot at night. It definitely clears out a lot. And it's a little bit quieter. You can hear the music during the day when it's very busy. It's hard to actually hear all the background noise, but tonight it's kind of crystal clear. As we near close to the end of the night, you can see Frozen actually has a short wait time. Usually the whole entire queue outside China is full, but it looks like it's starting right here, just at the tippity top of uh, China. So I'm sure it's probably like maybe 40 minutes. Maybe, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think, like 40? Uh, about 35. 35, wow, fancy. Even though it's only about 35 minutes, we only have 35 minutes left in the park, so I think we're gonna head out to Future World. We did make our full lap, now we're coming up on Mexico, and maybe get in a ride. I think that would be fun. Maybe we'll check the wait time for Test Track. You know, this is probably the longest line, even then Frozen, so Frozen was 35 minutes. So I'm kind of curious to see what Test Track's at. I feel like wait times on the app aren't always as accurate. It's much more when you see the line itself. How many times have you walked past the queue and you're like, that's not 30 minutes. I feel like everyone has said that before. Like, no way, that's not 15 minutes. That's a walk-on. Well, yep, that's an hour. <laughs> yep, that's, that is a uh, pretty long wait here, I could say. So, uh, yeah, maybe Mission Space? I'm sure a lot of people aren't excited about riding Mission Space. Recently I came out and I did a whole video about why people dislike Mission Space and I did the more intense version. So today, I think we're gonna do the less intense version which is a completely different ride. Completely different, completely different experience and thrill level. Earlier I was talking about wait times. It says 25 and 30 minutes. This is false. <laughs> Right now, this ride is 100% walk-in, and I can't even see the queue to tell you that. I just know that it's a walk-on. Honestly, though, if you are motion sickness and you don't like the reaction of G-forces, do the less intense, even though there are a little bit of motion sickness still, just not as bad. Definitely, like I said, there is no weight. <laughs> You can walk right up there. It says 25 minutes outside, but this is what I was talking about. They won't deceive us. We know what's really happening. Yep. So there's probably 13 people in front of us. Matthew, earlier, I told you... The pitch wow, of the X2 that happened right in time right there. But earlier, I told you it's a different ride. So for the more intense, Pilot, you go signal, to Mars. I'll Here, we're going to orbit back to Earth. So we're going to be coming back to Florida. Boarding now. Time to go. The mission has started. We're just waiting for the door to open. Attention, kind of looks like Magneto. Follow the on the floor. Your extra Ooh. Oh. Make sure you grab a puke bag just in case. I'm going to take that now because I touched it. <laughs> Hats off for this mission. Oh, a little bit tight. I like it. Welcome aboard. That's how we are. During the mission, you'll be adjusting the pitch of the X2 if necessary. Ready to go. I do also want to tell you a little bit of a cool thing. If you want to cool off and go on a ride, this is one of the best rides to cool off on because they blast AC like right to your face right now. So do the less intense and uh, just kind of cool off and relax. Like right now, I'm feeling great. <laughs> I'm feeling great. All of us here in Mission Control wish you a safe journey oh around the planet. All right. Oh. Oh boy.
in. Center, center. Yep, pull back. Thank you. I love it. Honestly, the less intense version is actually not too shabby. It's fun to ride and you get to walk out with a souvenir. <laughs> we got off Mission Space with just a couple minutes to spare and we came over to Test Track to see if the weight actually went down a lot and you will be shocked. It says it's a 30 minute wait and I think it's under 30 minutes because earlier we were here and it said 50 minutes and the line was going all the way over here. It was stretched through this whole entire queue and now it looks like we're going directly into the building. So I think we're all in here. So let's see how accurate the wait time is. 9.53, we just got in line. So 30 minutes it was quoted. I think it'll be a little bit quicker. That was super fast. We're about to board now, and the official time is 10.13. So I think we started at uh, 9.53. Was it 9.53? So just 20 minutes. Under under 30, like I said. Whoa. Every time we pull up to this seatbelt check guy, I always think he's gonna jump out and try to clean our windshield. <laughs> to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface. Connecting to OnStar. Commencing sim car off-road and extreme weather sequence. Commencing responsiveness test. Okay. The responsiveness data is now being synchronized. Automated driving technology verified and active. stopped there like that before oh, oh what is happening that doesn't happen automated crash avoidance technology disengaged displaying responsiveness data oh boy here it goes here comes the final test And the night. Can I tell you something though? I'm pretty sure we slammed on the brakes when we came up to the uh, the truck that pops out. That normally doesn't happen. Like they slammed on the brakes and we came to almost a complete stop. I really liked it though. It was a lot of fun. Definitely a little bit different tonight. The park's closed now, but Mouse Gear stays open an hour after park closed. So I think we'll cut through there and then call it a night. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some fancy things. Looks like we found a new type of mask that they're selling i don't know if it's spirit jersey type but i like it i think i'm gonna buy it just to see how it is and i'm gonna use the uh, mobile pay we'll see if that works so this one is like mickey with kind of black and gray but then they also have a blue like cartoon mickey one i just want to see what they're like they're 14.99 so they they probably are a little bit higher quality 
There we go. We are all good to go. It applied my annual pass discount. Now it is $12.77. We hit purchase and then we leave. And there it is, the new mask. I like it. It's got a big structure inside of it and it actually has that nose brim and I was hoping that it would stop my glasses from fogging up. But I don't think it's working because it's fogging up right now at night. And if it's gonna fog up at night, it's probably gonna fog up during the day. But I mean, I like the design. It feels nice. I don't sound muffled. I think I would stick with the old ones though. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the Mickey shaped pizzas because that was awesome. And just our wonderful day at Epcot. We'll see you next time. Bye.